Hello everybody, this is Jessica and I'm here to show you my kids um, first little note to their teacher. They start school tomorrow and a little treat that I, we, that, that I made for their teacher. I'm just letting them know how much we appreciate them being their teacher and the actual stamp says thank you for being my teacher. And that stamp set, I don't know who made it, but this is what that stamp set looks like. I have my 12 year old that loves monkey and it's right here. So I believe I bought this at Michael's. And so this is a little card I just cut out. I used the Doodle Charms cartridge. It's a Doodle Charms. And it's an old cartridge but it's really simple to put together and easy and that's what I needed, a quick card. Um, the apple is found on page 118. And what I did was I cut out the blackout in black. I cut out the regular layer without any of the function keys pressed in green. And then I cut this one out in brown for the stem and in red. So this one was cut out twice. And this is just the shift key. And for the treat, well, let's finish with the card. So that's the outside. I put three gems. And I put a little banner, just cut a strip, and then just notched the middle of it and made the little um, notches on it. The inside, I used a regular piece of note, notebook paper. And again, three strips of paper and just cut out little notches to make little banners. Um, you can simply, you can also add a little worm to it. Let's see if I can. Um, so, yeah. The possibilities are endless um, and easy with the Cricut. So that's my card. And the little treat holds this little bubble gum, bubble gum treat box, Emma calls them. I just used Snicker Meanies, this little pack, and I bought this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It's the two of those little mini. Um, Snickers in here, and I cut out this bus using the Doodle Charms. I used some twi Baker's twine, and the bus is on page 117. And I used the blackout, and I cut that out in blue. And then I cut out the regular, just the button with no function keys pressed, and I cut that one out in black. And this top sh with the shift button. In yellow and so this is doodle charms again so let's see and in the back of this I use my creative times um, stamp set and it says make all things possible unlock the door of imagination and that is her stamp set and her die stamp die and this is her bubble gum treat box and this is what that bubble gum tree box looks like and it's just a die and you just run it through your cuddle bug and with one 12 by 12 I was able to make six treat four treat bag boxes four treat boxes so you just cut your 12 by 12 paper into four and you can make four treat boxes so that's that and I'll show you really quick how to make the card so all you need is a 4x4, four four. all you need is a 4x4 four four piece of paper and I just use um, Walmart's Georgia Pacific cardstock. And I'm going to have my little girl hold, of course. Aye. Okay, I just hold her there. Okay, so here's my sheet and this was a... DCW back in the days when I used to go to the Scrapbook Expo, um, I bought this and they were just cut the same exact size. So um, I think they, it was probably their scraps. But I'm just going to layer this piece down. Here's where I stamped that stamp set that I got from Michaels. Thank you for being my teacher. that's too straight there okay and 
Here's the cutout from Doodle Charms. Quick layering. And I have three kids, so that's why you saw three treats. Well, I have four kids. One is in high school and does not want to give anything to her teacher, naughty her. So that's okay. I will just do the three youngest ones. So there's a little strip. Actually, I'm going to put this closer to the corner. Okay. Sorry. And here's a little rhinestones. And these are just glue dots. I just figured I put the glue and adhesive on so that you guys didn't have to, I didn't have to torture you guys through that process. Okay. There's that cute card, and I'm not going to decorate the inside, and just let it be yours. And here's some more of the treat box without being decorated, those bubblegum box, the way Emma calls it. It's from my creative time. Anyways, I hope you enjoy, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.